How do you feel? <clears throat> like someone's put broken glass in my brain. I thought we'd have you back in Rittersburg by now. The Smiths are waiting for you there. It's okay. Just stick me in a room somewhere. Are we ready for the test? I'll check. Could you see about some heat, Gracie? I'm really freezing in here. Are you cold? Sure. It's cold. I'll see what I can do. I'm good. You do that. Here's that list I made. seating chart. This might be useful. I made this list of things to do. We have one hour, people. Herr Emmerding. Herr Emmerding. Yes, Mr. Costello. Herr Emmerding, I must again protest about my lack of vocalization in Act Three. I have not a single note until the transformation aria. Now, how many times do we have to go over this? You are disguised as a silent minstrel. I know that. But an aria sung to the audience, off to one side, would be very effective. Hildegard has one. Yes, but the audience is not supposed to know it's you until the transformation into a wolf. It's a surprise. You know, surprise. I realize that's the way it's written. I simply disagree with its effectiveness. Your opinion is noted. Ah, it's time to get ready, Georg. You go. I, uh, I want to go over this one more time. Georg, I need you to promise me something. What? There may be some distractions tonight in the audience in Act Three. I need you to keep playing no matter what. What distractions? 
What are you saying? Don't get upset. It's just, well, it is opening night. The audience might be a bit rowdy, you know? Are you serious? But we have extra security lined up, so if anything were to happen, it would be taken care of. So just, you know, keep playing. Grace, I, I do not even want to know what you are talking about. This is a brand new Wagner opera. I am not going to stop the performance, even if, if Wagner himself comes floating out on stage. Great. That's exactly what I wanted to hear. Herr Silbermeier, I know you're working as fast as you can, but we're opening in less than an hour. I really need to run through some music once you're done. Why music? They will not fall down. I'm sure they won't, but uh, look, you told me they'd be done by noon. Well, you are lucky that we could even make them in so little time. And then we drive them here special this morning. I know that. I know. You've been great. It's just... Is everything at least going according to the diagram? Yeah, we make it work. What do you mean, we make it work? <laughs> this diagram is not so good. Uh, we make changes, yeah? Oh, my God. Look, there weren't supposed to be changes. I told you to follow the diagram exactly. <laughs> Maybe in 1945 we followed diagram exactly. But today, we make changes. <sighs> what are you saying? These measurements are not the same as today. Now, if we make the chandeliers the same distance from each other, just as marked, but the distance from chandeliers to the walls, no, not the same. Why aren't the measurements the same? This is the Wittelbacher Theater, isn't it? Yeah, but not the same Wittelbacher Theater. The bombs hit the first one. This one is very close, but smaller. But everything looks so old. Oh, they take the art and the wood and save it. Remake theater later, after the war. Of course. Of course. How could I be so stupid? I'm a history major. Uh, it's OK. The chandeliers work good. Same distance from each other, but just not to walls. Yes. I'm sure you've done your best. Thank you. I suppose that large X had something to do with the seating arrangements. It's in a nice line from the chandeliers. The large X on Wagner's diagram is in an area called the Mittel Loge on the seating chart. I'd better check it out. This is definitely the Mitologe. According to Wagner, von Glauer gets seated here. Lieber too. Now I just need to find a way to block the doors. <laughs> 